one of the ways to increase your income and your impact is that you need to be in front of other people's audiences. So you have to do outreach and the media kit is essential when you're doing that outreach. What if writing a book is not just a way to transform the lives of many people, but also a way to create financial freedom and leave a legacy? Wouldn't you want to find out just how to do that? Well, that's what this show is all about. Hi, I'm Henneke Watkiss, Porter speaker, coach, author of Podcast Power, and the host of the Entrepreneurial You podcast, inviting you to listen to the Entrepreneur Secrets podcast, brought to you by C. Ruth Taylor, best-selling in the author and the Caribbean's most trusted voice on entrepreneurship. Tune in for inspiration, information, and innovation to write and win with books. Get ready to dominate entrepreneurship. Greetings, entrepreneurs. Welcome to episode 99 of the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast. I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor, and this is a show that gives you the roadmap to take charge of your publishing, along with some stories and strategies to dominate author entrepreneurship or author entrepreneurship. Now, this week is our last in the series of publishing tips for authors. And today I'm going to be talking about a media kit, why you need it and what you should put in it. I'll give you an update on my author journey as well. As of episode 101, we are going to shift gears to focus on our vision 2030 to raise up 10,000 author entrepreneurs from the Caribbean and the diaspora. So the show is going to have a little new look and a new focus, but I'll talk more about that in episode 101. But before we get into more publishing tips in terms of the media kit or my own entrepreneurship update. Let's have a word from our sponsor, Bamboo Sparks. Your book is the perfect spark to get the fire going in your personal life, career, business, or ministry. Light that book spark today with Bamboo Sparks, a global independent publishing services and publishing education and training business for transformation. Bamboo Sparks will take you from manuscript to market faster than you thought possible and even manage the process for you. Check out their three main offerings, the self-publishing spark, the rocket writing spark, and their Bamboo Sparks done-for-you management deals for authors in the Caribbean and the diaspora. Discover how Bamboo Sparks can help you to publish and leverage your book to grow 90 feet tall at bamboosparks.com and that's bamboo with a U. All right, I have been getting some feedback from folks, especially from episode 97 when I gave you 10 podcast episodes from the backlist that will help you to master self-publishing. I remember having a, a consultation or a call with one of my clients and in the background, I heard myself. <laughs> she was listening to the episodes and I was so pleased. And folks have been commenting on the episodes on YouTube and I have added the podcast to YouTube podcasts and uh, I've been doing some rebranding. Part of the change coming is that I am going to be s- selling audiobooks direct as part of my Patreon community. So to celebrate episode 100, which is next week, I'm going to be launching my Patreon membership group or support group where you can get to support me on my author journey. I want that Patreon group to be about Vision 2030 to raise up these Caribbean author entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. And in episode 101, I'm going to break that down 
you know, we're going to be tracking our progress and gathering more stories. So if you are among the 10,000 entrepreneurs who've uh, been impacted by the summit or the podcast, you've been encouraged to become an author. I want to hear from you. And so what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a special live broadcast for episode 100. That would be next week, Monday, 27th of March. So we've already recorded episode 100, but I'm going to be doing a live and recasting vision 2030. Your book is not just a product to sell. <laughs> it's a platform for transformation. And one of the challenges we face in the Caribbean our economies are not the strongest. And I want to see how we can use books to take people out of poverty. <laughs> books as a platform for poverty alleviation. Authorpreneurship as a model for poverty alleviation. And there are a number of stories in that regard. Use authorpreneurship to create sustainable income and to use your book as a vehicle for your vision because your book also gives you visibility. <laughs> it brings attention and awareness to what you are doing. And so going forward, we're going to be talking a lot about those things. I'm not going to be focusing so much on the publishing process. I'll point you to the backlist where you can see episodes on that because I've done more than 15 episodes addressing the publishing process. And of course you can get the book, Authorpreneur Secrets, and I'm going to be doing more so stories stories, stories, stories. So you are introduced to these authorpreneurs as we track where we are on that journey to 10,000 author, authorpreneurs from the Caribbean and the diaspora. So those are some of the changes that are going to be coming to the show. I trust that you will come along for the ride. So we know, God willing, once I'm alive, the podcast will continue for at least seven years. The summit will continue for another seven years, at least everything. So this is a seven year mission. And so we'll be tracking that. I'm really excited about it. So that's the latest in terms of my entrepreneurship ventures is to, is to replicate what books have done for me and to raise up more entrepreneurs. And with that, is the launching of my Patreon community next week. You can support at the $5 level or the $10 level on a monthly basis. And I am calling those who support at the $5 level, silverpreneurs <laughs> at the gold level. You are a goldpreneur and I want to help you to thrive. And so this is a private membership where those of you who can't afford to join the Authorpreneur Secrets Academy which only opens in January and you need some help, private help on your author journey. And maybe you can't even afford to, to come to those one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. This is an opportunity to be part of a membership group where you are supporting me on my author journey. You'll, you'll get some of my books as part of the membership bonus. So if you're a silverpreneur at the $5 contribution level, you'll be getting five eBooks and three audiobooks. You'll get 5% discount on courses and other coaching programs that I have. There'll be a monthly Q&A session for patrons only, and you can send in your questions and uh, I'll record the answers, send them out, but we'll also have a live session. And then I turn that into a recording that is sent out. You'll be able to, as a patron, send your questions or queries about, you know, your publishing concerns, whether those are marketing, publishing, any questions you have, I'll answer those. And then on a quarterly basis, there will be an exclusive podcast that is sent out to my patrons. So this wouldn't be published to the public and it's going to be publishing related because we're moving away from teaching how to take charge of the publishing process to really helping you as an author, entrepreneur, to win with books beyond book sales. For the Goldpreneur members, you would get 10 eBooks, 10 of my books from my collection, books such as Authorpreneur Secrets, Design to Win Roadmap, 
to how to dream again and succeed in life as you get older, write and retire, write out, write nonfiction, fast and create sustainable income in retirement, unshackled queen from heartbreak to wholeness, embracing singleness, keys to win at life, when trees talk, embracing destiny. These are some of the books that you would get and you will get more audiobooks, right? I'll be releasing audiobooks exclusively available to my patron supporters. And of course, early access to new books. And you know, one of the new books I'm working on is Better Than I Dreamed. So I'll be having patrons will get early access to that. And of course, there'll be a monthly Q&A where you can come and pick my brain on different subjects relating to publishing, marketing, author, entrepreneurship, or personal development, because my books are memoirs, personal development, self-help, and how-to books. And so that's what I'm offering. So I trust that you'll be able to sign up. I'm going to put a link in the show notes. It's patreon.com slash authorpreneur secrets. That is going to change the game because too many of us are struggling financially and many of us also need a platform for visibility and books give you visibility for your vision <laughs> and your mission. And uh, yeah, I'm here to help you along the journey to replicate what I and others have done. So that's the latest in terms of my entrepreneurship venture. So speaking of visibility, as an author, I know some authors are introverts, but especially as nonfiction authors and authorpreneurs, it's a little different for us. So we are not just selling books. You want to be out there or have someone putting you out there working on your behalf. We heard in that interview with Diane Batchelor about how she has kept the book alive after two years and how she got so many reviews, some of the things she did, she had persons working on her behalf. And one of the things you're going to need is a media kit and some promotional items. So you want to make sure that you have a professional photo taken, not one with your phone, no selfies. <laughs> Get professional photos done because you're going to need these for your website. You also want to have professional photos or mock-up of you and the book and other things, right? To help to promote. So you want to have photos, professional photos. You want to create in that media kit a sheet and some person's media kit can be separate sheets with these information, or they have like a PDF. In the media kit, you want to have your author bio and you can have a short bio, a two line bio, a 50 word bio, a 250 word bio. But if you've done the publishing process well, you would have already done these things because to publish your book, you needed a, a, a bio, you needed a short author bio, for the back of the book and very often you put a longer author bio in the book so you would have been well on your way in creating the media kit from the publishing stage so it's now collating this information when you're publishing too you would have included some contact information so you want to have your contact information and your socials so that when you go for an interview and they ask you where can we find out more about you or find you. You want to include those in your media kit because the media kit now is what you're going to send to those who are going to interview you in traditional media or new media. So you're going for a podcast interview. They're going to want, a, at minimum, your photo. They're going to want a picture of the book and they're going to want your contact details. It's good to have that professional contact email like mine is Ruth Taylor at extramilega.com. But if it's a Gmail or, or Yahoo, you have use it. But it's, if you don't have a website to get that professional email, you just have to make do with what you have. But you need to have some contact information. The media kit can also have sample interview questions because some of the interviewers will not read your book. So... 
in it, you can include questions that they could ask you and you prepare to answer them. You can also have reviews. So if you've already gotten advanced reviews, two or three reviews, what others have said about the book, you can include that in the media kit. You want to have your book in 3D so that as they're talking to you, they can flash this across the screen. And these need to be high quality images. You can include a sample chapter from the book or special quotes from the book or highlight certain pages that you would want. And the media kit can also include a press release. So those are the things that you would need to put in it. And of course you need a synopsis of the book. What is the book all about? So that's helpful. Now you don't just send out the media kit just like that. It is upon request. The media kit is also called the press kit. You could also have that one page author one page document that has the bio, a little bit about the book, who you are in terms of your brand name and the services you provide, topics you address, where people can find the book, where the book is purchased. So this could be a one to two page thing and you save it in a zip file. If you have a website, put it on a website, you can have a media kit or press kit page so that when we, people are inviting you, they just go to your website and they get everything. So that is something you can do so that anyone interested in your book can find everything they need in one place. That's why you would have a media kit and your audience include journalists, bloggers, reviewers. The media kit serves as a crutch for busy journalists or busy inter interviewers. So they can cut and paste entire paragraphs from your press release or your synopsis into any stories they're writing. And like I said, make sure the images are high resolution. So they don't have to know, go and email you and request your photo because you've already pre-prepared and you're making it easier. Because one of the ways to sell more books, one of the ways to increase your income and your impact is that you need to be in front of other people's audiences. So you have to do outreach and the media kit is essential when you're doing that outreach. So most radio talk show hosts or YouTubers or anybody who's interviewing you, they don't have time to read the book. So they will appreciate the summary and the questions. And like I say, you have your contact where they can find you. So the media kit is basically like a kit that helps you in your marketing and promotion. And it's always a work in progress. You have to update yours. So like I need to update my own media kit because I've taken new photos and uh, it depends on the book that you want to promote. And then because we are pushing Vision 2030 for myself personally, I'm going to keep the focus on Authorpreneur Secrets because that is like the master guide and the blueprint. It's your entrepreneur Bible. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that, but I need to update the photos there. And sometimes you would have, after a time, updated the cover or something. So you need new pictures. But since I'm rebranding, I'm going to update my own media kit. So in the meantime, I could put a link where you can go and get a sample of my media kit. And uh, you can tailor it. You don't have to follow everything exactly as is there. And you can do your own Google research, but it is so important. But you'll find that half of the job would have already been done if you did your publishing well, because you should have contact information, short and long author bio. Your cover designer should have given you mock-ups and uh, some persons already include a picture of themselves on the back cover or on the inside. So you would have taken the professional photos. If not, now is the time to do that. So that when the person who will interview you or the media person, whether it's social media or traditional media, they have to create like flyers to promote who is coming on the show. And so you want to have those things so that they can use it. And uh, this is an essential part of you becoming a successful author, entrepreneur, 
entrepreneur and trust that you found it helpful so looking forward to episode 100 next week as i introduce a new tool to you to help you on your writing journey so you're going to learn about plotter and for episode 100 i am i'm launching a patreon support group for those who want to support me on my author journey financially buying my books and uh, those who want to be part of my entrepreneur community and you want me to help you directly you know with questions that you have and give you some guidance to help you win on your own author journey if you like my vibe <laughs> my mission then become part of the tribe all right so i want to encourage you to become a patron of the show so that's it for today's episode share the episode with a friend comment on the youtube videos and you can email feedback to entrepreneursecrets at gmail.com thanks for listening have a now until next time